So you probably saw my Canon SL2 video because it's at, it's at 36,000 views. It's like one of the top of the search results. I actually challenge you guys right now to go check what search result is for you when you type in Canon SL2 or Canon SL2 review and comment down below what number you get. I want to see who can get the highest number. I got three the other day. Three, and then I looked today and it was at like eight. So I want to see what you guys see it as. So check for my video. That was a quick promotion. That was a good quick promotion. But guys, one of the most commented questions I get on that video, the Canon SL2 video, I get this comment like all the time. Is this camera better than the G7X Mark II? Which one should I get? There's a little bit of a price difference. Which one should I get? You know, today's video is a comparison of the G7X Mark II and the Canon SL2. And I'm going to tell you guys which one is better, okay? Because the, the G7X Mark II is very well known. The SL2 is kind of on the come up. First of all, I, I can't show you them both at the same time because the SL2 is the one I'm filming this on. I only really use these two cameras. So basically, I, I recorded earlier a couple tests outside in the backyard in some real world stuff with the SL2 and with the G7X. It was kind of rainy. You'll, you'll see in the clips. But I'm going to talk to you guys about what I think the good and the bad of the cameras are. And then you're going to see them in action. I'm going to cut back and forth between me and past Nick by like a couple hour past Nick. Uh, but I'm just going to go straight. Okay, I'm going to go straight into it because I know I talk too much. The first thing I like, I'm going to talk about the SL2 real quick. It has an audio jack. The, the Canon G7X does not. There's no audio jack. So you're stuck with the microphone that's on board the camera, which is not bad. It's right here. It's like a teeny microphone. Oh, gosh. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like a teeny microphone. So if you want better audio, you're kind of stuck with whatever you get with the G7X. Whereas the SL2, if a new mic comes out that's like super crazy, you can buy it. You waste all your money, you can buy it. But I don't really tell the difference, to be honest. Like, that one picks up a little more on the SL2. But I don't, I don't think when you're vlogging, audio is your main, your main problem. I don't, I don't think you need to worry about audio. I always start to sweat because I have to turn the fan off. Guys, I'm getting hot. I, ha I brought a towel. Look it, I brought a towel because I know that this normally happens when I film in here. I gotta put the towel back. Okay, my notes are flying everywhere. But by the way, I really like the shirt. It's like super stretchy, super stretchy. I feel like a gymnast. Anyways, okay, all the tests I did, they're on this, okay? So if you're looking at the reach, it's a little bit different because of this, okay? But this is only 25 bucks. You're gonna want one of these. It's really well made, it's by Manfrotto. It's got little gel, gel bottoms so that it doesn't slide on the tables and stuff like, it does, it's making my table move. It's not moving, right? It's very nice made. You just press this and then it's a ball head. You're gonna need one of these, okay? Link is in the description for all of the items, okay? All the cameras. I have my own actual Amazon shop. All the tests were done with this on both cameras, okay? So the first thing, I already told you about the audio. So here's the audio test that I did. We have this annoying pool thing that stopped me from doing videos out here because it's so loud. I'm gonna compare the audio between the two next to it. So I'm just gonna sit it here and not say anything. Switching cameras. Switching to the SL2 for the audio test. I have the shotgun mic pointed directly at it because it's a directional microphone. Uh, I forgot to tell you though that the, there is a microphone on top. I probably should have told you that the entire time. But there's a microphone on top, dang it. <laughs> Really, like I said, the audio doesn't matter that much. And when are you going to be loud next to like a really loud pool thing? You're not really going to. Um, I did forget that, that the, the, the microphone was on the thing. I tested this, the SL2 with the Rode Video Mic Go on it. So if you're wanting about the audio on there, I have an external microphone. I don't know the on more to audio. If you're going to buy that camera, you probably want a better microphone anyway. The next point. Oh, what is my next point? What's my next point? Okay. All right. SL2 changeable lenses. G7X small and portable. That is a sacrifice, guys, because... If you're going with the G7X, you're going to have this one built-in lens, right? You have a cool flip-up that goes this way, by the way. Another thing I like about the G7X is the screen flips up straight. So you can, you can like, look up at it while you're filming and people don't really notice that your eyes are drifting up here. What was my main point again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the G7X Mark II is a lot smaller, guys. It's, it's literally, these pockets are extremely shallow. If it, oh my god, it even fits in these, okay? I look, uh, my humps, my humps, my lady lumps. That's what it looks like. Sweat. So much. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. On the other hand, the SL2 is one of the smallest DSLRs. I think it's the world's smallest DSLR. I think, not mirrorless, DSLR. And it is pretty small. It's still a lot bigger than this, especially when you have different lenses on it and stuff. Speaking of lenses, this one has a detachable lens. The SL2 has it. You can put whatever lenses you want, so it's very upgradable, whereas the, you're stuck. You can trade portability for a couple more accessories on the SL2. You know, I heard this thing that actually made a lot of sense to me. It's get whatever camera you're going to have with you, because you can't film if you don't have a camera. I actually think the G7X might be a better option for most people, because 
I found myself not being able to film a lot of videos in public and stuff because I want it to be low-key, you know? And I can be a lot more low-key with this, like, guys, guys, we're, we're in the store. I don't, I don't want to tell anybody that we're here, um, but we're in the store. We're in, we're in the mall. Check it out. That's the mall, okay. See, but then when you have that other one, it looks a lot, when you have the SL2, you know, a big DSLR, it looks a lot more high profile and more professional. So it's kind of a trade-off. If you want to be more low-key, you want to be stealth mode, you know, like, ha <laughs> I just stretch out my new shirt. Good job, Nick. Okay, let's talk about the focusing. The G7X Mark II's focusing, oh, this is the G7X, oh, the Canon SL2's focusing is definitely better than the G7X Mark II, face tracking wise, okay? Because this thing, this thing takes a little bit longer to fish for your face than that one. Here's a tree. I, that's a nice tree. Uh, I can't tell if it's a focus because the screen is flipped up. And then bam, there's me. Oh, it caught my face right there. It's already got the box. Let's do it again. Tree. Oh, that's not even a tree. Basketball hoop. Nick's face. Oh, it caught me. It's doing pretty good. All right, switch to the SL2. Whoa, there's me. It already got my face. That's crazy. All right, let's, we're going to try it with this one. Um, tree. Tree, that's a tree. Me. It, it already got me. Leaf. Leaf with Nick's hand on it, spinning around. Leaf, leaf, leaf. Nick, hi. Okay, got me there. That was a little, it was a little slow. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Nick, but it got me. It got me. This one, this was pretty good too. By the way, it's hard to flip this camera faster because it's heavy, but it has a little more weight to it. There's a duck, and I kind of. There we go. There's me again. I kind of like having a little more weight to it. it makes me feel more sturdy, more professional. That was a weird noise I made with my mouth. Back to you in the studio, Nick. By studio, I mean like. Right up there, or that one, one of those. I, it's my house, I should know. Oh, cool transition. <laughs> Guys, I think I might just leave this on. Look at me, I'm a sweaty mess. I think this is why I touch my hair so much. I'm just gonna leave it on. Okay, you see the focus even showed on the SL2. Both of them focus pretty good, because we were outdoors. Let's try, okay, let's talk about the, the usability, okay? The G7X Mark II and the SL2 are both very easy to use. I would say the SL2 is probably the easiest to use DSLR ever because it has like this special interface that, that teaches you about what everything is. If you want to know more, you know, check out that you don't know what to do. Both of them are pretty easy for usability. This one may be a little easier because you just turn it on and start shooting kind of. My ultra wide angle lens, which you're probably going to use too if you're doing YouTube, that it's not the best in low lighting. It's like a F4 something. This is like an F, ooh, it's an F1.8 to 2.8, which means that when you're fully zoomed out, it is at 1.8, which is extremely low. So you're gonna let in a ton of light. Look it, we're in this really dark thing. There's like, okay, well that's not an example, but barely any light. You can still see me pretty good, I would say. With the other camera, I think it'd be pretty blacked out. Actually, I'm gonna test that. Let's switch to that one. Bam. So that's with the door like almost all the way shut. You can't expect to, to see anything with any camera when it's this dark. Gets a little lighter. Okay, I'm kind of there. But I think I see a little fuzziness in the camera. Okay, there we go. It takes like that much light. Where I think the G7X had more light when it was like here. Well, uh, uh, sweaty again? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! When it comes to um, you know, the reach because you're vlogging, you gotta film yourself. The SL2 is the winner. This is the, this is the G7X mark. Gosh, Nick, I'm confused. They're both twos, and it's confusing me. Okay, this guy has a very small reach, even with this on. Okay, you film it, and it doesn't it doesn't show much of you. There's not there's not much of you in the frame. I, I'm just gonna show you. Why do I keep trying to? Sh I'll show you the clips I recorded. Bam. Hello, Nick. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, we are we are out here in these treacherous conditions. Look at that. You see my hair blowing in the. You know, I think I feel like I need a hood. But guys, I'm out here. We're we're in these rainy day conditions in Florida, and we're testing. We are testing the Canon SL2 right now. I have it on a mini tripod thingy, so you know you get idea. If if you're a vlogger, you know you're on the vlog grind. But we are out here. Oh, I had to duck under those dangerous branches. We are out here, guys. If you catch me looking to the side, that's a downside with this camera. It has a side screen. If you're trying to look, you may look to the side. Oh, somehow I think I think the rain is gone. I don't know why, but I'm up here now. I can immediately tell that it looks way lighter out here. This is as far as you're gonna get. I'm fully reached out here. This is, I mean, this is, and I'm on the mini tripod. So it doesn't, doesn't get that wide. I remember when I first got it, that was the first thing I was a little worried about is it doesn't get that wide. It kind of feels like a Logan Paul vlog now that I look at it, cause like he's, it's always kind of close to his face. Oh, I'm using the towel again. I'm so sweaty, this is, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold the towel. I kind of did all the tests, that, all the tests that I filmed, I put them at the end, I don't know why I did that. Either one is gonna work. That's what I keep telling people in the comments for the most part. Either camera is gonna do the job, it just depends on your, your little preferences, right? If you'd rather be smaller with not as good audio, or if you'd rather be able to change the lens, or you don't see yourself buying different lenses. These are the notes that I made for the two cameras, okay? 
I just realized a really important thing. I've been t telling you how wide this camera is and how everything is like that, but it's just because of the lens that I put on it. So I'm gonna put the lens in the description. You might wanna do the, what I did with the camera and just buy the body and then buy the, this lens instead of the lens that comes with the camera because that's gonna be more zoomed in, probably as zoomed in as the G7X. So that was kind of like, I hope you kept watching the video, because if not, they're going to buy it and it's not going to be as wide. Just know that this lens that I'm using is wider. I didn't even realize that, along with the microphone being better. So basically, you got to buy, it's this setup versus the G7X, I guess. My conclusion is either camera will work. You're probably going to be mad at me for that. But so I'm going to pick one of my favorite, just because I know you guys are going to, you know, you're going to want to know more. You're going to want to know, you're, you need a winner. I, I understand. I hate when people do that. Um, my winner, I didn't pick my winner, I didn't even think, what is my winner? My winner, uh, so what I've been using more is the SL2 just because I've been filming videos in my room around the house and I would rather the better microphone and the wider angle. It's easier with the wider angle to get all my lights and stuff. So I, I think I'm a fan of the SL2 at the moment and the focus is better. But I do think I've used the G7X Mark II a lot for a lot of videos just because of the convenience. We bring it in public. Whenever I'm going in public, I bring this. Well, this was... This was a messy video. Um, <laughs> if you guys got any information from this, which I hope you did, you know, I I try. I just have a hard time putting my thoughts together because I get in front of the camera and I'm trying to be fast and it ends up being a 22 minute clip. Oh God, why does this happen to me? Okay, you guys leave a like. I'm not getting it. I keep saying that. I'm not, I have a like button there. Man, you should press it too. Turn it, turn it blue or black. I think it turns black now. But press the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if I helped you at all or if you just like me. That would be cool too. I would actually rather if you if you just like me. Either one is good. Follow me on Instagram. I think it's in the corner there. It might be in this corner. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because I might look stupid. It's like a graphic, you know. It's an Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Snapchat too. I just don't have the logo there. And you can subscribe. That's there too. You know, always plugging a little bit. That sounded like like Jake and Logan Paul. This is my second time doing that. Oh, why? But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I have a hard time with the outro every single time. A hard time every time. I was, I have a towel, you know, that's how I'm going to end it. I'll see you guys in the next video about to cover this up. Hey, Google, should they go watch the last video where I unbox you? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Of yet. course, of course you're not. Okay, see you guys. Peace, subscribe. <laughs> wow, that was bad. That was a... <laughs> Shoot, stars. Didn't even get to <laughs>